and just a couple more things I want to talk about. So I'm going to go to plus here, and actually not going to go to plus. I'm going to hit minus. I'm going to do a fill layer, and on this fill layer, I'm going to fill it with some brick. So I'll type in brick here, and I'm in the, just the regular material section. So all I got to do is tap brick, and it'll fill my object with brick. And I can go over here to UV scale, and because that lock is turned on. I can go ahead and just scale this uniformly and just tile some brick over my object. Now you'll see it is tiling or it's being laid out as uh, my UVs are laid out. So if I go from 3D to 2D only and I zoom in, you're going to see what it's basically doing is tiling brick just like it's a brick wall on my uh, UV map 0 to 1. And then wherever I have my UVs, it's just putting brick straight across here. So you're going to see as this brick goes across, it's going to meet up with this brick line and if it goes across here. So it has no idea of where my UV shells are in space. All it knows is that it's tiling brick onto a texture. My UVs happen to be there. And when I go to my 3D object, you're going to see it's just using my UVs to kind of place that brick. So another option for you is actually in here under UV projection, you can change that to triplanar projection. And what that's going to do is, and let's see if I have those plugged in here. Um, it's not it's not visible to you, but if we go to Substance Designer and we type in triplanar, tri underscore, uh, space P, and we drag those out onto our area here, you're gonna see these require a position and a world space normal map. And with those two maps, what it's able to do is if we go to my uh, UVs here, let's go to 3D, 2D. There we go. So we can see the 3D object here. Now in my 3D view now, if I go to the side, it looks like the brick is going all the way around my object. So it looks like my object is actually made out of bricks as opposed to if I go back to UV projection, it looks like it's, you know, kind of made of bricks, but it's kind of following my UVs and it kind of doesn't make sense on this one. So we can go ahead and do a uh, tray planar projection. And now it looks like a brick wall is going up this, up the side of my object here. So if I go to the front, the bricks go straight across now. Uh, however, if I go to my 2D view, you're going to see no longer is it just, just tiling the bricks across this uh, texture and then kind of wrapping around my UVs, however they happen to be laid down. It's actually looking at my world space position and my position map and calculating uh, going across my object here. Um, another good example of this is if I had a seam, and unfortunately I don't really have any good seams to show off on here, they're all kind of hidden in the cracks, uh, but if you notice that you have a seam like right down a really obvious spot of your uh, character and you've got like black and white spots or maybe some pr procedural dirt and you can see a line, change that from UV projection to triplanar projection and it'll get rid of it. It'll just, it'll use a different calculating sorry, method of calculation to kind of give you a better result and ignore seams across UV shells. So totally cool, really, really powerful. Uh, and again, not the best example, but this is what I'm using. Um, and you can also go in here and change the UV scale to something that's a little bit better. Um, UV offset, you can rotate your UVs here. So it'll kind of, you know, rotate. So now we've got, you know, diagonal patterns across my object here. And of course, if we go in back into UV projection, you're going to see it's just a jumble. It's a mess, you know. So, it, you know, sometimes UV, UV projection is what you want. Sometimes triplanar projection was what you want. Um, but those options are both available to you.